ITU is known as a specialized agency of the United Nations, which is responsible for issues concerning information and communication technologies. ITU coordinates with the shared global use of the radio spectrum, encourages international cooperation in assigning satellite orbits, works to improve telecommunications infrastructure in the developing world, and supports the development of worldwide technical standards. ITU comprises three main sectors, which are radio communication sector, known as ITUR, standardization sector, known as ITUT, and development sector, known as ITUD. ITU is founded on the principle of international cooperation between governments and the private sector. It acts as the premier global forum working towards consensus on a wide range of issues affecting the future direction of the ICT industry. Having the headquarter in Geneva, Switzerland, ITU is headed by the Secretary General, who is elected for a four-year term by the member states at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. At present, Dr. Amadun Touré, a native of Mali, serves as the Secretary General of ITU. The relationship between ITU and NBTC had been established for decades, even before the establishment of NBTC. Recently, NBTC has signed a collaboration agreement for initiatives and projects in order to enhance the growth of telecommunications through cooperation with ITU. The close cooperation between ITU and NBTC has led to the impressive development of the telecom sector and the broadcasting sector in Thailand. Such cooperation consists of technical assistance, exchange of study visit, and knowledge sharing participation in international conference organized by ITU or NBTC, and social cooperation. Technical Assistance Exchange of study visit and knowledge sharing. Participating International Conference organized by ITU or NBTC. Social Cooperation NBTC has signed a collaboration agreement with ITU five projects such as 1. 
telecenter applications and services. The project aims to develop various telecenter front-end applications and e-services for telecenters in key areas such as education, agriculture, and community e-commerce. Due to the NBTC USO policy, there will be more than a thousand telecenters that are being established within the year 2013. 2. License Monitoring and Compliance Framework Project This project is related to review existing licensing framework and provide recommendations on areas of improvements or licensing regulatory reform in view of the current regulatory trend in converged services era. The recommendation will be useful as a guideline to develop effective and efficient license monitoring and compliance framework, including creation of necessary tools for the Office of NBTC. 3. Roadmap for Transition from Analog to Digital TV Broadcasting in Thailand ITU and NBTC are implementing a project on transition from analog to digital TV broadcasting in Thailand. The project's aim is revision and finalization of roadmap on the transition from analog to digital broadcasting, establish a framework of implementation, policies, radio spectrum regulation, authorization, and technical evaluation for successful transition from analog to digital TV broadcasting in Thailand. 4. Study of Telecommunications Price Regulation in Thailand This project aims to study costs of providing mobile non-voice services such as SMS, MMS, and broadband data and fixed broadband service in order to recommendation on price regulation for the Thai telecommunications sector, including monitoring and compliance framework for bundled mobile service packages. Five, technical assistance to NBTC of Thailand. Thailand 3G auction review report. ITU assisted NBTC to evaluate the 2.1 GHz spectrum auction of Thailand. The study indicates that principles, objectives, design, and the outcome of the 2012 Thai 3G auction were consistent with international practice and achieved the explicit and implicit goals of the NBTC in managing the radio spectrum resource in that Spectrum licenses were efficiently and fairly assigned, with minimal disruption and without legal challenges from the participants. The accompanying licenses incorporate important measures to improve competition, including infrastructure sharing and better access spectrum for MVNOs. Finally, prices paid for spectrum by the eventual winners were non-trivial and compare with international benchmarks prices for 2.1 GHz paid at auction. Such evaluation study of ITU conducted in accordance with international standards has proved that NBTC went to the right direction in allocating spectrum by auction for the first time in the Thai history. NBTC is now able to send clear message to the public and the stakeholders that our auction process was consistent with international practices. The current success of the telecom development in Thailand would not have been possible without the grateful support by ITU under the leadership of the ITU Secretary General. We would like to take this opportunity to express our deepest appreciation to Dr. Amadun Touré the ITU Secretary General, together with all ITU officers, especially Dr. Yunju Kim and her team at the ITU Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific. Finally, we are confident that the cooperation between ITU and NBTC will be closer and closer by sharing the same commitment to develop better and sustainable telecommunication to national and international communities. Thank you.